Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the WGL mm -hmm. Season 3 Gold Series. My yep. name is Benjamin Breaker Novotny. Lisa Ed, that's a 99. And today, we've got, like, a whole lineup of new things we want to go ahead and yeah. show you. We've got mm -hmm. a new tournament format, new mm -hmm. meta, mm -hmm. new map, well, yeah. some new maps. we got, uh, yeah, a couple new maps. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Before we get things started off too far off, um, mm -hmm. we're actually both sick today. Uh, <laughs> I think Edison is just a little bit worse than me, yep. but yeah. uh, if you hear us coughing during the broadcast, do forgive us. Mm -hmm. All right, so a um, couple of new maps. What are they? Do hmm? we know yet? Uh, uh, we, we should know. Yeah, we got it. Let me check it. Uh, it's Rovanka. some map. Yeah, some map is in the uh, uh, YC. Like Morvenka. Yeah, Morvenka. Uh, other like Clay Pokonovka, Rimberg, Himmelstorf, you know, and Step. It's an old map on the, on the WGL. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Um, I also want to add that uh, in the event of a tiebreaker, the map is already predetermined per date. That means the teams mm -hmm. actually can't choose which mm -hmm. map they're going to play the tiebreaker on. Instead, it's actually going to go ahead and be played on a map that is already predetermined by Wargaming, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Um, as for our new tournament format, I mm -hmm. think we're about to get into that pretty soon. As uh, well, when the production crew prompts us, but it looks like oh, we've lost okay. our own preview we don't have screen. A screen right now. <laughs> yeah, so we actually don't know what's going on there. It looks like hashtag Made in Taiwan. We're gonna we're gonna see what's yeah. coming up pretty soon. Yep. But all right. Uh, Any so moment now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, um. Let's go ahead and talk about the new teams. Um, mm -hmm. I did previously announce that uh, One Blood, or excuse me, not One Blood, but rather, I announced that Intense Honking came together with Numb to make a new oh, team. Oh, God, we were here. Yeah, that was wrong. <laughs> um, instead, it's One Blood and mm -hmm. uh, Intense Honking, but I'll go ahead and explain that later. Mm -hmm. So here's the new tournament format and the rules that we have to go with. You can only have two types of team rosters that are available to you. You can have five tier eights, and then two tier seven tanks added into the mix, or you can have six tier eight tanks and one tier six tank no yep. other compositions are allowed but hey mm -hmm. guys guess what that means if you've only got mm -hmm. your uh your subpar t8 tank excuse me your non-tier eight tanks if those are the other ones that are alive you're not necessarily doomed they actually have a fighting chance so we're not gonna see those stranded t1 cunningham struggling for dear life anymore. <laughs> yeah we don't have a t1 anymore yeah mm -hmm. conversely we're not gonna have t1 cunningham's killing amx 1390s anymore match regulations <laughs> One match consists of two maps and a maximum of eight battles. One map includes four battles where each team plays two times in attack and two times in defense. It's a little bit confusing, but mm -hmm. I, it's a format I've played before yep. uh, with a different game title, of course. Roles played according to, or excuse me, the roles are played according to the following rule. Attack, attack, defense, defense. To win the match, a team needs to win five battles out of eight. If one team gets five wins, remaining battles are not played. So that means we cut straight into the next match if we mm -hmm. see one team go straight to five points yep. without dropping a single map. Okay, and in the other way, it means, uh, it means we got a bold nine game. Best of nine, yeah. essentially. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> potentially, potentially. I mean, like, yeah, if you, we have... You, can, you need a five point. You right. Know, so it's a bold nine. The only way we <laughs> see a tiebreaker is that there's going to be an end score of 4-4. Four, four. Yep. All right. So in the yep. case, in case the mm -hmm. in case the match ends in a draw, the winner will be decided by a tiebreaker. And of course, as I mentioned before, the tiebreaker map is already predetermined for each and every day. Yeah, but uh, let's not mention about the game type. We we it's a a sword more game, so we got a home team, we got a uh, guest team. So uh, something we got, like they that. Have, yeah, they have to play like two two times on the defense, two times twice on the attack. So. It's more, I think it's more fair this time, you know. Oh yeah, and not only that, we're going to have, mm -hmm. I mean, we're going to have some action-packed games. We're not going to have people sitting around all day. This is going to encourage people to fight head mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. um, the meta is, of course, right. This is something we forgot to explain. Each and every map is going to have two capture points. And capture point number one on Himmelsdorf, as you can see, is actually to the far west end of the map. But uh, Edison, I want your opinion. What tier six or tier seven tanks do you think we are likely to see? Yeah, I say in the, it's more possibility. Uh, it's higher possibility on um, a team choose a tier six because of on um, on the tournament, you know, the tier eight still really powerful you know, compared to tier seven. So I I bet the the teams will prefer. Okay, we got a black. Like yeah, we lost the we lost <coughs> our screen, but of course Edison still has an observer position in game. Yep. Hopefully the stream is completely un uninterrupted for you guys, and mm -hmm. I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to continue shot calling with play by play mm -hmm. um, yeah. as time goes on. But yeah. uh, 
We we do have an all-in-one PC, which brings me to our next point. We're gonna bringing we're gonna be bringing new technology to the gr to the game. Mm -hmm. Uh, by, I guess you could say, just illustrating on screen what the most likely attack patterns would be from uh, Team A or Team B. But there we go. We got the screen back. I'm not sure why it disappears all of a sudden, but yeah. hashtag made in Taiwan. <laughs> okay. okay. So more likely to see five, six tier eights and a tier six, right? Yep. <coughs> and uh, we can see a screen here. You know, we got it. They got they pen the four maps and the uh, lift the two. So uh, on the picture, they have to pen the map first, right? The uh, the rest two map they cannot play in the long uh, hemistop they cannot post play four times you know but uh, on Pognovka it depends on who can get the uh, fifth point first <coughs> oh yeah that that I think is going to be very critical mm -hmm. okay so I want to go ahead and highlight for the moment uh, that this what you guys can see on the map preview is only one capture point you can't see a second one but it's on the north end of the map the yep. defending team should be the red team, of course, but who's going to be the red team in uh, this game, Madison? Oh, okay. Wait a minute. The defense team. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. On, on your screen, it's the green team. On our screen, it's the red team that's defending, but uh, uh, it's, I don't know. it's uh, confusing. <coughs> yep. <coughs> so uh, if in, in the easiest way, uh, if the team on the left side, it's a, it means that it's a home team, it's a defense team. On the left side, it's a home team. On the right side, it's an attack team. That's it. So right. on the left side is the finish. Uh, finish is the uh, one block from the silver league, and they they they, they are merged the top with intense hunking, right? huh? Uh, yeah, and, and and they got some members from intense hunking. You know. Right. Well, I mean, like you, you got to stop and think about it for a minute. I mean, some sometimes players need a break from the game, and then they can come back fresh, good as new, things like that, and. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? It's it's just it could be a fresh new start mm -hmm. in 2015 for a lot of the World of Tanks players. Yep. And uh, looks like a good deal. Of the players in lobby are actually disconnecting, getting their final tank load out. Mm, maybe they they're gonna check and lay equipment or something about that. And this uh, the, another team is a formation. You know, both team from the silver lead uh, on the previous season. So they are top one and top two. Uh, and the less good on the silver, silver D is so close, so I, I bet they're going to have a really close game today. You know? Yeah, and let's not forget that these guys, uh, both teams actually have Wargaming accounts, which means uh, they've got access to any and all vehicles they want. They don't have to spend, you know, heart aches worth of gold to get their tanks ready yeah, and ship yeah. shape. But I think the most important part is the crew, you know. they got 11 skills, every member. I, I mean, uh, uh, if you got an uh, MS-50, right? So you got four crews on the tank. And uh, normally, if you play like 3,000 games on the MS-50, you cannot got a five-skill crew. We just lost our, our monitor again. Something <coughs> strange is going yeah. on. Yeah, and but the WG is going to give you uh, 11 skill crew without any training. That is nice. Mm -hmm. um, something is wrong with the English stream as we're not presently on Twitch.tv. Mm. Something is not right here. Mm -hmm. Well, that's okay. I wouldn't give it too terribly much thought. I mean, it'll it'll come back on eventually. Our production crews just got to figure out what the problem is. But checking the tank loadout right now, of course, a lot of you guys can't see this back at home. Um, front mission has chosen three AMX, three AMX 50 100s, uh, two IS-3s, and two IS's. Yep. So they're they're going with the two five tier 8s, two, yep. tier, two tier 7s. Yep. And... From Phoenix, it's going to be a T32, IS-3, mm -hmm. KV-2. So they're going the tier six route, uh, and they're going to have eight. They're going to have five. Excuse me, six tier, seven tier, seven tier eights, and a single tier six. The KV-2's got some pretty strong firepower on it, but I notice like it can uh, get rustled by uh, an ARL 44's 90 millimeter cannon at some points. Okay, I think it's a six tier eight, but no, there is a. T32 is really quite weird here, you know. We we still didn't see any T32 play or used on the hemistall, you know. People used to prefer the S3 over Chinese 110. Well, the tournament is beginning. <laughs> Uh, 
Now, spawning to the south, it would actually be... Uh, it's not south, I think. Or, excuse me. <laughs> okay, oh, it's spawning. a Hong Him. Yeah, it's a Hong Him. Yeah. Spawning to the north, excuse me. I was looking at Edison's monitor. Spawning to the north, it is going to be... Yeah, but... South is uh, formation. There we go. Something's finally right here. It's been fixed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to the north, it's front mission, as uh, Edison said. Mm -hmm. To the south, it's going to be Team Phoenix. Yep. All right. Oh, we can see that on the, on, on the mod. Okay. Lay on the north side. I right. saw that. I saw that. One other problem with the mod is we can't actually see how much damage is being dealt, but I think that's what we have your monitor for. So okay. what do you think uh, we're mm -hmm. going to see coming out of this game, Edison? What's the choice going to be from our teams? Which one? I mean, you mean the formation? Yeah, I mean, right yeah, now... Yeah, I think they cannot go this way. We can use the port here, you know, they cannot go like this one. Uh-huh, gotcha. Uh, this one. So right. we can see my my drawing on the, the small map, I guess. Yeah, oh. on the mini-map. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it looks like they're progressing their way into that, and uh, for the time being, we're actually going to see our defensive team, Phoenix, uh, kind of hanging back for the time being. We're having some technical issues right now as our, our monitor mm -hmm. that actually shows everything is kind of going in and out. I'm, I'm not really understanding it, but let's get that cleared away, make some less eye clutter for the viewers. Okay. So there wow. we go. Uh-oh. Wow. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Edison got rid of it. There we go. Here we go. The engagement's coming, and FMOWD400, excuse me, WD40, I don't know how I didn't see that, is getting ready to get the initiate, mm -hmm. going on to Angerid and maybe Bingo Bongo. Well, you know, we got so many tanks on the map, so it's mm -hmm. So many big ones, too, and he mm -hmm. takes the first shot. It costs him about a fifth of his total HP. All right. Now, Calliope is going around the back, but it's just a little bit difficult to say what uh, his decision will be at this stage in the game. All right, he's just going to hang back, maybe wait for your WD-40 to turn the corner, and then pop a shot out. Angerid's just waiting there, calm as mm. can be. Yeah, I think they're going to make a blanking like this, but, but, you know, on this situation, they have to attack on this side first. You know. It's the best way for them, because of um, if, they, if they cannot attack from the north side, it's defend. If they got two windows here, so it's much easier to defend for them. I mean, the, for the Phoenix team, you know, if the formation can go through the south side like here, and the two way to attack, they they can much easier to clear the M15, MV2 on the south side. Right. Something I'd also like to point out is we still don't have the English stream online, which is very strange for the time being, but. Uh, Let's go ahead and just wait to see how this game unfolds. I'm a little bit surprised they aren't trying to go for the 9 o'clock position at the moment, but looks like, speaking of moving for they're piling in right now. Kind of. Ingrid is he's got an itchy trigger finger. He's ready to hit WD-40 there. Mm -hmm. Four minutes remain on the clock. Uh, need I remind you that if front mission is not, if they don't get captured by Phoenix here, or if they don't uh, if they don't if they don't all die, then they effectively speaking win the round. Capture is now going down, but this is not looking too good. Uh, yep. The initiate was not coming too strong there from Phoenix. Yeah, but he did not. Oh man, Blood Plus is getting really overzealous here. He's diving in a little bit too far for his own good. He could be knocked out of the game if Zeratul doesn't come in and try and block some shots. It looks like. The move was made as it needed to be. Yeah, but you know, I see someone have to cover it, but no one do anything. Right. We just lost vision again. We just lost vision on our monitor. I can't say what exactly the issue is. WD-40 coming in here. He's going to get a shot in the rear of that tank, and he does indeed take him down and out of the game. And now it's hard to say who is going where with this fight, as we actually don't have vision of what is happening. Yeah, but actually, on, the mod, on, 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 on my computer, I can see the formation got Right, who on earth is winning this? Is it front mission? I yeah, it looks like this one. Indeed it does. Yeah, because the legs are right away. It's quite even right now. And uh, we've got more uh, ammo. I mean, I mean the M50. Alright, so here we are. WD-40 now, it looks like, is getting the shots to the rear turret on that IS. And uh, first one connected just as it should have, but I mean, let's let's face it, he's 
He's, he's facing off against someone who's got a ton more HP than him, and it looks like he could get oh. knocked out. Indeed, that will be the case. Yep. So now this is a two versus two. Low HP tank, high HP tank from both mm -hmm. sides. Yep. Actually, medium and low. <clears throat> All right, so here comes yeah, Zeratul you know, for that flank. Two auto loaders, so you know, you can see the Shot to the broadside, right but his teammate was taken out of the game. Okay. Now it's one versus one. That's an AMX 50 going up against, uh, what is Rodak in? An IS-3, oh, he's got yeah. a long reload. Oh man, Oh, he Bounce missed two. Oh. Or something, maybe it hit one of the dead tanks. He's got, oh, he's on the reload, is oh, he, he on the reload? He had run away, oh, wow. Unfortunate as it may be, he's gonna have to run away. But this is not a situation where the game ends in a tie, and need I remind you for the second time. If Rodak stays alive, yeah, but you know what? Maybe they win the game. Enough for M50s, we know. Really so if Ice Reed missing any shot, he cannot lose this one. What if his ammo rack was hit? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, but you know, uh, both tanks got really low hit points, so it's a one shot, one kill scenario right now. And I got, I bet the M50 is on reloading, so you know. All right. If I three run away and hide, he cannot win this one because of the, it's no chance to capture right now. Glad to see that the English stream is finally online on my end, but Rodak has got to, you know, he's definitely got to change the course of this game. He's got to change where it's going, at least for the time being, mm -hmm. or uh, there's simply, I feel like, no turning this around. <coughs> okay. Okay, I three choose a really, really sad position right now. You know, mm -hmm. that's a really nice position. Yeah, I mean, all he's got to do is get that one hit, or at least stay alive. But wait, is is he in 50 meters of Zeratul right now? Uh, we cannot check it right now because of, on the new model, we cannot. Okay, no. Uh, oh man, Front Bob. Mission wins it, or Phoenix wins this? Yeah, Phoenix wins this one. All right, he just took the wrong turn. He's going further and further and further away from him. Zeratul must be very frustrated right now, mm -hmm. and uh, he just he can't get in there. He can't do it. Well, I mean, two seconds, one seconds. He can't get. He can't fire a shot that's going to penetrate enough walls to actually take mm -hmm. down that that final tank on front mission. So unfortunate as it mm -hmm. may be, uh, this game goes straight to Phoenix. Yep, uh, I think on the KV2 on this match is not work that great. You know, as our expectation, as our expectation, because of, uh, you know the KV2 with the 122 millimeter gun is really nice. If if he fast the uh, M50, but I think on this match he don't have too many chance to shot in the time, you know. <coughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that basically wraps this game up in a nutshell. We'll be back in just a few minutes after a short break. Okay. okay. Well, yeah, the production crew has actually prompted us with uh, some slew of. Uh, their own technical yeah, issues right got, now. We got uh, the damage for here, you know, the KV2 only made in 18 damage. Only 18. 80 damage? 18. What did he hit? Did he ram something? Mm, I don't think so. Maybe he missed something, you know, and you know, the 152 mm gun is not accurate at all. So, you know, just do something and like this. So, he used a high, maybe, let me check it. Maybe friendly, fi no. Oh, he shoot four times, but maybe he used hit. Oh no, not, maybe he used the AP, but not pen, um, penetrate, so only making 18 damage. But, you know, on the formation, they use two ice. Pretty good, you know. Two ice making like 2100, so 2100. It's quite fair for the tier 7, not bad, I think. Indeed. But, but, you know, I think on this match, because of the formation, they only use uh, three tanks to power push the south side, so. Uh, they do not make life different on the, I, I mean the damage, you know. If they use a 4 tank to push or 5 tank to push and 2 or 3 to defend the north, I think they can win this one because of they got more power on the open field. They can easier to kill the uh, enemy, but if you choose the, like 4 to four to 5 to push north, there are too many cover, you know. It's really hard to push. Yeah. Either way, it was still it was a really, really painfully close game at the end. I mean, it came down to that one shot that yep. we just saw the front mission player miss yeah. in the AMX 50. Two shots. It just no. goes to show you that one mistake can cost yeah. you the game sometimes. Yeah, yeah. If you know, just go forward and you know, aim more accurate and you know, just make two damage. Let's win that one. But you know, <laughs> yeah. four runs only two damage. If he, if he makes three, he already win. You know. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll be back after a short break, guys.
All right, guys, we are back with game number two, and this one is what uh, on Himmelsdorf. That's right. Yeah. I had to get used to it. I had to get used yeah. to it. I thought there was a mistake. Mm -hmm. But um, here we go. This is going to be round number two where we see the same team on offense yet again. Yep. Uh, game number one actually resulted in victory for Phoenix. And looks like we're going to bring things back to us on the screen. So stop and you think about what we saw in that last game. Do you mm -hmm. think we're going to see front mission repeat the same mistakes that they made in game number one? Yeah, I think they cannot push again, but it's fine. They cannot just let it out, I guess. You know, because of on this map, it's not that easy to capture. Even they got to capture a circle, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. And the game has just begun on our end, uh, unless it's some kind of a user error. But mm -hmm. um, here we are. We've got three AMX 50s, two IS-3s, and two ISs coming out of front mission, all just like game number one. Yep. But uh, I'm wondering what we have coming out of our other team. Yeah, but I think uh, okay, I guess the uh, uh, fin Finnish, they can uh, change something about this one. I think and they know the KB2 is not that good on this map, I guess. Already choose again? Uh, it looks like they did. Oh, they choose again. Mm hmm. Pretty okay. similar setup, okay, but wait okay, a minute. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, an AMX 50, KV2. <coughs> and I think it looks like it looks like they got some. Oh, I'm sorry, I was looking at Team Phoenix's loadout. Phoenix. Um, front mm -hmm. mission, okay. Front for mission got the same setup, I think. Right, okay, mm -hmm. so now I'm looking at Team Phoenix, and it looks mm -hmm. like. <coughs> it's a little bit difficult to call what they have right now. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're still getting used to the new production crew setup, if you will. But here we are. We've got front mission on the offense yet oh. again. They are going through the very... Uh, th they're kind of doing things a bit different. A different yeah, kind of split. They're different. they're different. I think this time they're going to go like this one. And uh, this tank, you know, they're going to take a chance to capture, maybe, you know. All right, so the guy that we're following right now on Edison's screen... Uh, at least according to the minimap, would actually be Blood, Pu Bud Blood Plus, and he's piloting an AMX 50 right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel okay. like that would probably be, I don't know, I, I think he's just there to not really wrestle some jimmies, but take a good brunt of damage, if you will. Oh, mm -hmm. they cannot use the two tanks to capture on Saros, so that means they cannot have other tanks to defend on this, this line. So in order to cover the two tank capture, or they had the other play style, like they use a two tank here, flanking to their back. So I could definitely I, see that happening. Yeah, but I don't know which way they're gonna choose, either capture or you know uh, take a two tank to flank it. I definitely feel like flanking would be one of the one of the better maneuvers for our team to employ, but uh, it's just. How do I say this? Oh, they're gonna use the ice ray to check uh, to track the attention first. So they can use the M50 to capture. Okay, because the south side do not push, that means that the M50 is man manually for capture only, I think. Indeed, okay. Well, uh, I could definitely see that happening. But what about the capture time that it takes once you're in the circle? Does that change at all, or is it the same as it was in season one? And uh, I'm sorry, season two, mm. season one and season I'm two. I'm not sure right now because uh, um, after the update, I, I didn't play any assault mode yet. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> but okay, she didn't. She didn't have any change. I, I didn't see any announcement about change yet. So maybe it's the same. But if M50 for capture, that means it make it need, it need like 200 seconds. Right? They're getting ready to pile in right now. Look at this. And the last time they still want to push up on our side. No pass have a KB2 and P32 is pretty good. No. I mean the positioning for defense. I mean no, it's pretty good. So uh, this time I think he he don't you he, he won't use the hit or uh, not the hit the AP run again. He should use a, a high explosion run. And the T32 here is really easy to defend. Speaking and of HE, mm -hmm. uh, guess what? Oh man, that's a lot of pain yeah. that got dished out on TY Yeah. It's penetrating. Making like an 800 hit point, I think. Indeed. Wow. Alright, so now Engrid's not in a great position. He's already half tank, if you will, half HP. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to return what fire he can, but now he's down to a quarter of his own HP. One or two more wow, shots, he's goodness. out of the game. He dodges one mm -hmm. from WD40 just now. <clears throat> and TY Killer is keeping him cornered. 
for the time being. Front mission, they might be poised to make that uh, ambush happen, if you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right now, I think the key point is the M50 here. You know, here to flank and trying to go here, and this one gonna die very soon. Okay. Um, All right. The position is not bad for formation right now, and I think the two sides, the two things on the south, are gonna break it right now. All right. Well, let's see how this pans out. I think you are right, as in it, it's looking increasingly more and more like that in this present situation, anyway. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And there's that AMX-50 coming from the south, as you pointed out on the minimap. And he is slowly advancing his position there. But uh, right now, I, I still have to, I still must enunciate that Team Phoenix's tanks are all operational, though one or two of them are very low in HP. Except, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just uh, Ingrid, who's in a really bad way right now. Mm -hmm. And game number one did end in victory for Team Phoenix. The question is, are they going to oh. get the victory in game number two. Okay. Front mission can't sit idly here and let nothing happen. It's going to be close to impossible to get uh, that victory yeah, in less than two minutes. Souls. Souls. The problem right now is that uh, M50 had to move as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, they, 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 they start to move right now. Oh the man. Is nice. There goes that pilot. The capture has been initiated. Mm -hmm. Blade's now getting lit up on Phoenix, yeah. and he is. I wouldn't say totally surrounded, but he's in a, he's pinned down right now in his best position. Blood Plus is taking a lot of damage there, I might add. Now he's down to one hit, essentially, backing off. So too is help me, please. Angerid was taken down in the exchange, I might add. And Blade looks like he's next on the hit list as he's finally been pinned down. Fresh Meat been dealing out a lot of fire and even himself is now out of the game. Phoenix only has three operational tanks remaining, but we have five and coming uh, from uh, six, excuse me. Yeah, it's so much Oh man, he is. FY Killer wow. was on fire just now. We just <laughs> lost our monitor, and it looks like front mission yeah. by, by, by the guess of things on the minimap is just not looking good at all. Yeah. Oh man. I said this time the formation chose the right way, you know. It chose the front of the south side to flank is totally right. Alright, well, there it goes. The score is now 1 1, and that's going to put one blood on the offensive now. Mm -hmm. That was but, a you know, uh, on this on this season we got in two tanks, two more tanks on the attack side. I mean, the both sides got a, uh, two more tanks, but you know, uh, I feel if you want to break through, you know, if you want to break through on the defense side, normally defense side you cannot uh, set all tanks on the one part or one point, so they cannot split. But for attack side, you know, they cannot rush through one in the, in the maybe. Uh, in you know, one or two ways, but if you got more tanks for a rush part, uh, in the part of rush, it's much more benefit about this, I think. I feel on the attack side, they gonna have more advantage if you got more tank. I mean, the new rule is more, much, uh, I think the, the, uh, if a team is love to attack, they gonna benefit from this. Mm -hmm. All right, let me ask you this before we go to a quick break, as in, um, mm -hmm. what cannon does the IS have on it? They use a 122mm gun. Its damage is same to I3, but the DPM, uh, even the DPM is higher than I3. All right. Yeah, it's... Uh, That's uh, interesting. Yeah, but, you know, the penetration is lower. Oh, so the less potential to do lower. damage. Yeah, right. the penetration only, if you use the premium run, I mean the gold run, is only 217. But for the I3, it's, if you use, use the premium run, it's almost like 250. So it's somewhat different, but if you want, you use the ice to ice uh, with the go run, uh, two hundred and seventeen penetration is is okay for for him because of you know it's, if you aim carefully, you can penetrate every tier A tank. It's nice. okay. Yeah, but you know, uh, ice DPM is really nice. It's somewhat weird, you know, uh, you got ice. And the ice rate DPM is lower than ice, you know, somewhat not reasonable, but you know, the, the, it's almost the same. I have said that, it, a, a little higher, but not that different. Actually. All right, but well, the penetration different. Mm. Let's take it into a quick break, and then we're gonna see <coughs> game number three on Himmelsdorf. Okay.
All right, guys, we are back with round number three. It's going to be, again, on Himmelsdorf, but we're swapping positions. That mm -hmm. means this time around we're going to see uh, One Blood and Intense Honking, which is effectively speaking now Team Phoenix, mm -hmm. going on offense while we see Front Mission on defense. Yep. So the more critical question here is, are we going to see a 1-1 one, one again, which mm -hmm. is going to put both of our teams at a tie at 2-2? Two, two. Mm -hmm. And then we could potentially see more games on the next map. And mm -hmm. then, uh, you know, it's just a question like that, mm -hmm. essentially speaking. But um, if we were to see One Blood take both games and bring their score effectively to three points, then that means they only need to get two more wins in the mm -hmm. next map. Yep. And then they win the entire set for the night. But let's not get too uh, cheerful and one-sided because the score is now only 1-1 one, one, and we're hopping mm -hmm. into our third round of the evening. And so I, I do remember on the Silver League, uh, One Blood only lose once. Uh, I mean, the whole season, they only lose once. as yeah. two formation. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, they only oh, lose wow. two formation. Where's Front Mission from? Are they from Vietnam? Uh, no, they are Thai. Thailand. Thai. Okay, gotcha. Okay, okay. okay. Kind of Taiwan, no? Thailand. <laughs> oh, no, of course, of course, of course. Like, yeah, a lot of people say Taiwan is a Thailand. You know? I know. I mean, my brother's no exception to that rule either. He's like, he's he's a he's a soldier in America. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have great education. He's like, oh, okay. So when are you going to Thailand? I'm like, Thailand. I'm going to Taiwan. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Come on, knock it off already. <laughs> All right, but. Um, okay, let's have. Okay, we can see the. They have the same setup again. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, the fans start to use ice. No, they give out the KV too. <laughs> yeah, they gave it up. All right, they're like, okay, curse you. It didn't work. We're not. We're not doing that. So we've got almost completely identical loadouts here. Mm -hmm. We've got three MX fifties from both sides, mm -hmm. two IS threes from both sides, and two Go ISs from both sides. From both sides. Okay. All right, and we're just now hopping into the game. And uh, this is going to come down to coordination at the end of the day, teamwork. Just one thing, when something is executed and how it is executed, how many shots hit, mm -hmm. uh, where they hit, what they penetrate, things like that. That's yeah. going to be the most critical part of this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, I really expect some team can use <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I noticed that neither of those first two games did we see Front Mission go for the 9 o'clock uh, capture point. If you will, the one mm -hmm. at the nine o'clock position on the minimap. Hmm. All right. Well, it looks like. Oh, wait a minute. They're doing it. Oh, oh they're doing it. One blood's heading all the way out west. Okay. Um, I think. This time, I mean, the position. There we go. I'm sorry, it looks like actually two of them are heading to the northeast end of the map. Uh, yep. And it's a problem coming out from uh, from front mission, guys. Some of them aren't quite moving just yet. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. It was just taking a while to show up on our minimap, that's all. Okay, I think the minimap on the, you know, the far distance, the longer distance, they cannot have some leg. You know? So we cannot see the, 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 the movement on the beginning. I just had a silly thought. What would happen if all five of the Tier 8 tanks were to get into the capture circle just to create a shield for the two Tier 7 tanks? Mm -hmm. Would that be a viable capture? A, a, uh, a viable strategy? Yeah, if they, you know, if the uh, normal part, I mean, the uh, one blood, they can you know, defend on this side, this way. And they can use the other three tanks to capture here. Maybe it cannot work here because of all formation here in the north. So they can use a couple of tanks to defend and they use the tier 7 tanks, you know, because of the tier 7 tanks uh, have a lower firepower. So if you got, they, they can use two ice, ice to defend, uh, to capture and they use other tier 8, make a defense line on the north part. Maybe it's working. But, All right. You know, they need practice. <laughs> they don't, they never practice up about this. They, they won't. They, they, they will have no idea how to do this one. Yeah. All right, so we got, of course, those four heavies that are posted at the, I guess you'd say, the D, uh, D3, D4, D5 area. And uh, <clears throat> we got a couple more heavy tanks that are getting ready to hop into that capture circle, I think. But, but the position of formation is quite weird. Maybe they forgot that there is a capture circle on the west part. <laughs> Yeah, and I'd also like to highlight right now that on the minimap, uh, we actually have red and green as opposed to red and blue. 
but uh, uh, I wouldn't give it to terribly much thought. Okay, so I mean, front mission is right where they need to be on the minimap, and I mean, like, their color is distinguishable, if you will. Okay. But I think that means we're going to have to get the mod loaded out on uh, our all-in-one PC right now by MSI. Of course, go ahead and like those guys. They sponsor TESL, and uh, they are the ones who brought this, I guess you, you could say, play-by-play -play capture screen uh, okay. to life. Uh, the one below, the Phoenix is start to push right now. They have the same uh, setup as the formation by now. Formation like on the, the North Star is going to attack land on this side, so it's a threat. Yeah, <laughs> it's not looking too good. I mean, now's the time to go in for that capture, I think. Yeah, they cannot wait. They cannot wait him for the two guys push in and shoot their back. <laughs> oh, know? man. I can see that happening, but it's about to backfire on them, maybe, if they actually go in for that. And now it looks like uh, the IS-3 there, Blade 1244, mm -hmm. is actually waiting for his opportunity to hop into that capture circle, maybe bait out some shots from the enemy team, but... Time's wasting. They've got three minutes and yeah. 25 seconds to make yeah. something happen. All right. Come on. Come on. Off spin is poking out there. He takes the first shot of the game for his team. He actually takes a good chunk of damage in that, I might add. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the formation is in mega big circle, so he cannot go here and shoot oh someone man. here, you know. But they, they have two, yeah, but they have two tech time, you know. They don't have so many time and run away. Or Off spin in a lot of trouble there. He's actually yeah, taking yeah. a good chunk of damage. He did manage to hit a shot, yes, but it didn't mm. penetrate. Yeah. Oh, but man. But, you know, if the one block team knows someone on their back, they cannot push out, you know. So they cannot, the, the formation cannot check them. Oh, uh, you know, like this one. Yeah, and now that one tank that's isolated out there in the middle of nowhere, that single IS. Three is looking like he's in a lot of trouble, but it looks as though they're actually going to go for the main tank fight, and Angrid's in a lot of trouble as he's set between several different hungry sets of teeth, and now it's effectively speaking a six versus six. Now a this is a fight that is in favor of Phoenix for the time being. They've got yep. two minutes to end the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. But I guess uh, the M50 is on the road. A couple M50s in three rows. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if they have so many powers. So Bingo Bongo is exposing his sights to that IS-3 mm -hmm. and its companion nearby. And oh, that actually got knocked out of the game. So this is looking like a fight that is slowly painting out wow. for Phoenix. But as I say that, they lose Rod. And uh, I feel like maybe they might they might not have what it takes as a three versus four situation right now as yeah, we it's so speak. close right now you know indeed mm -hmm. now it's oh. only two tanks out on the map for front mission you know i really wonder what's going on on the west part because of uh the one blood team the fitness team they got more tanks on west but you know they lose so many his point to deal with two eyes no i yeah. don't know what's going on there i apologize i actually made a mistake there it's actually three uh Three IS-3s that are, or excuse me, three tanks that are remaining out on the map for front mission. Now this is the last one, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Fresh meat. Phoenix. Phoenix. Oh wow. my God. We got the colors Still mixed up. Still making one. Oh, wow. We got the graphics mixed up at the top of your screen. That means Phoenix just lost this game. Mm -hmm. um, ultra confusing. Wow. Just a little bit. I, you know, right now, tonight we're we're experimenting with new technology. We mm -hmm. are caught in the middle of a bunch of hiccups, guys. So, like, what happened was, I said, oh, this is looking good for Phoenix, but instead I was looking at the graphic at the top right <laughs> of the screen, and then we've got uh, Edison's computer here, which is sometimes yeah, the only you screen we look at. can remember, you know, uh, which team on which part, you know. Maybe on the south, it's much bigger assault team, right? So, it's a, it's a Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you know, we can stop and think about it for a minute, but mm -hmm. uh, I feel like... It's only going to get better from here, guys. We're talking about day one of season three. We should not have these issues on Thursday evening, mm -hmm. uh, day after tomorrow. But, you know, this is just the rest of tonight's broadcast, and we are going to be back in just a few short minutes with the next game after mm -hmm. our short break. That's going to be Phoenix on Assault again. Mm -hmm. <clears throat>
Alright guys, we are back now with game number four. This is going to be on the same map, Himmelsdorf, in case yep. you guys weren't watching. And mm -hmm. now we're actually getting to the loading screen. It's the same loadout completely from both sides again. Mm -hmm. That would be two ISVs, two ISs, and three MX-50s. Yep. And um, <clears throat> this is it. Uh, I would say the final game, but I feel like it would kind of be a nail in the coffin, if you will, if we were to not see mm -hmm. uh, one blood get uh, get this game because I mean as you stated before Edison they they did actually lose to front mission before in the silver series but only two front mission mm -hmm. so yeah. I mean it only gets harder to play against other teams in the rest mm. of the gold series right I think today they got some problem about the focus fighter and teamwork you know because of on the on the previous match on West Park they the the enemy only had two eyes but they take a lot of time, you know, four to five times to deal with the two eyes. So that's why they, it's part of the, the rest of the team start die very, 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 very early. So that's why they lose this one. <coughs> yeah, I mean, like on, on a city map like uh, Himmelsdorf here, I'm not too terribly surprised that we don't have auto loaders like Amex, thir Amex 1375s coming into the game because, of course, I play one of those mm -hmm. and they do awful amounts of damage to <coughs> IS-3s and AMX 50s, of course, you have to shoot them from the rear. So, I mean, it's obvious to see why they're not in this game. But the IS is, um, their firepower, it stands to be pronounced here in this game. Uh, yeah. yeah, but the DPM is nice. The only penetration is a problem. So, uh, when, you know, when uh, a solo team see uh, where is the M50, they can, they can use the IS to deal with the M50 because of, it's really easy to penetrate. And uh, you can waste the like, ammo on the M50, you know. <coughs> All right. Well, for the time being, it looks like we've got Phoenix trying to execute a strategy just a little bit similar to game number one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This time, the formation they can uh, defend. So I think the Phoenix here, uh, they really wonder if the formation gonna appear from the uh, east part again. You know, <laughs> last match is a trick. So. Yeah, I mean, it, it's going to come down to coordinated fire, how well the rush is coordinated, things of, things of that nature. And mm -hmm. both sides exchanging fire thus far mm -hmm. between Thai Killer and Rodak, but it's it's not working um, quite so well. Oh, the green vents action is really risky because of normally uh, if the formation have a couple tanks on the corner, I mean here, you know, it cannot kill him very easy. You know? It's so um, risky action. He pokes out just a little bit too much there. He could be in a lot of trouble, as he said. But mm. T.Y. Killer. Ty Killer is going to go ahead and take uh, quite a hefty chunk of damage, at least for popping out a little bit. But uh, wouldn't say necessarily severe game-ending amounts of damage. It's not going to put uh, front mission on tilt, nor is it going to put Phoenix on tilt. So, wow. Yeah. Half HP already. Nice shot by Griv in there. Okay. So... All right, looks like they've got uh, an AMX-50 that's going around back on the minimap, as you can mm -hmm. see. And if he's able to unload all five of those shots and make two or three of them hit at the very least, he's actually going to do yeah, a considerable but right amount now, of damage. Yeah, but right now the formation cannot use the AMX-50 to flank uh, the I think it's Griffin. Oh, no. I feel, but like, <coughs> I feel like the AMX-50 position there for... Uh, Excuse me, Bingo, Bingo Bongo and his friend not too far away is actually quite mm -hmm. a little bit dangerous. But here we go, the big fight at the front. Rodak's going to be tanking for that. And oh. WD-40 takes a good chunk wow. of damage. Wow, it's bounce, it's bounce. Yeah, okay. non-penetrate on the second shot. Wow, it's bounce again. Another bounce indeed. And now we are kind of cut on that, uh, on that engagement. We can't really see what's happening. Okay, well... We do still have that AMX-50 doubling around back. This might exact. This might just be that flank that uh, yeah, Team Phoenix yeah. needs. But they lose one of their. They lose one of their heavies already. Yeah. I can't see who it was besides. Oh, it's Rodak himself, yeah. playing playing through that peeping hole in the window. But now here comes the flank. Wow. And Ty Killer is getting knocked out of the game. And this looks very hook line and sinker. Angerid was actually the AMX-50 to beat, and yeah. he's coming in. He just lit up one of the one of Kalope's friends, and now it looks like he, he aims to end Kalope's life himself. And in this exchange, it's now a four versus three scenario. Yeah, but I think it's quite weird, you know. Every time the Phoenix use M50 to deal with ice and take a lot of time. Oh, 
Play our reload. Yeah, Blade <laughs> is now hitting help me please, living up mm -hmm. to his namesake while he's running on a reload. Mm -hmm. And Blade is going to just get to turn that corner, maybe get one more shot out, maybe not. He can't get over it, he's not quite as mobile as an AMX-50, but Blood Plus waiting around that corner. Oh, he dishes that. out a shot at Zeratul, Yep. and he backs off for the time being. It looks like this entire situation could be turned on his head. Front mission. I, I, oh, oh no, man. Okay, Mechan. No, it's, it's really easy to hide for ice, but you know. Oh, it really is. This is a confusing situation, but yeah. Phoenix is not winning. This is actually front yeah, mission yeah, again. Not yet, you know. We almost win, but you didn't have to care for. Yeah, and Blood Plus just took another member of Phoenix out of the game, and it's Fresh Meat and Engrid that are left to fend for themselves in this two versus three mm -hmm. engage. Blood Plus now just gonna dive in there oh, on Fresh okay. Meat. Fresh Meat rushing into Zeratul, and it looks like he might get the ram, but nah, he, well, something happened there. No, 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 he shoot it on the other side. Oh, man, and now it's all up to Engrid. Uh, one versus two, and unfortunately, two minus one is no, one. They, I think this time, uh, the, the, Fenix team, again, they use three, uh, three M50 to deal with two ice. And you know, one M50 was killed. And they took a lot of time to kill the two ice. And, you know, that's somewhat, you know, the M50 got you the know, best firepower by deal with a two tier seven and take almost like one minute. You know, <laughs> That is right. Mm. Okay, well, I mean, that, that, that's going to wrap up our first, well, not, not our first set, but our first map. Mm -hmm. So that means we're going to take things into the next map on Prokhorovka. Yep. Score is 3-1 in favor of Front Mission. Mm -hmm. And now, if we're going to see One Blood win this entire set, they're going to have to win the next four games in a row. Mm -hmm. Or they're going to have to get four points and not drop a single map. That means if we see, uh, if we see Front Mission win at least the next game, they're guaranteed to go to at least an assault mode game or win the series. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back in about five minutes. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, we are back, and before we dive into the second map, we are going to have to report to you all that, unfortunately, mm -hmm. um, Elong has been disqualified from tonight's match because they reported in just a little bit too late mm -hmm. in their match versus Charlotte Tigers. So. Yeah, yeah, because we have a new tournament system, and you know, every match is a bow nine. And we yeah. got a three bow nine to tonight. Really. Yeah, if you uh, late, you cannot, maybe we have to play until, until like 1 a.m. 
Yeah, that's yes. true. I mean, I. But at the same time, I wouldn't really call it uh, a best of nine. Instead, I would just call it a. Uh, <laughs> how do I say it? It's the first to four points. Oh, I'm sorry. The first to five, five. points. Yeah. That's effectively speaking what it is. But I mean, it could potentially get stretched into a tenth game, which would actually be, an, a, a, um, a classic assault mode game. Mm -hmm. The team with the higher damage output throughout mm -hmm. the course of the entire set. Mm -hmm. gets uh, the offensive power, or yep. the, the ability to choose whether they're on offense or defense, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, but no, uh, on previous game, we can see that because we got uh, seven, eight tanks right now, you know, so... Huh? Hmm? Like seven, or oh, still seven tanks. Right, still know, seven tanks. We got more firepower this time. I mean, uh, on the attack side, even you split it to two ways. Uh, on, on, on the... Previous season, if you split to two parts, it's really hard to assault, you know. But oh yeah. Because you got two more, two more tanks, one tier A and one tier six or two tier seven, you got more five power. It's much easier to split to way to assault to attack. So, uh, I feel on the defense team, it's not that great uh, advantage, you know, right now. Uh, you know. Yeah, I mean. It depends, but it looks like we got we have we've got a very diverse loadout coming from uh, both okay. sides right now. As we <laughs> check right now on our screen, we can see an M41 Bulldog. Yeah, it's tier six. Uh, tier, tier seven. seven. Yeah, it's tier seven, and you know it's an auto loader by tank with ten rounds. You know. Oh wow! What are the caliber? What's the caliber of it? Ninety millimeter? Uh, no, 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 no. Seventy six. <laughs> Seventy six. Yeah, it's yeah. really low penetration, but you know that's like. I feel like that's like 50 damage to some of the tier 8 tanks. Yeah, for, but for each you know, shot. it's somewhat like a tier, uh, the T71. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. The next to him. But you know, the T71 got lower hit point. And uh, the auto loader is a 5 or 6 round auto loader. I, I it should be 6, I think. And the, but the Bulldog is a 10. No 10 rounds. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, if you play like a rush strategy, uh, it's pretty nice, I think. All yeah, right. Yep, yeah, the other team got much. Uh, uh, it's not standard, but you know, because of it, it's a new season, new season, new rule. So you know, every matchup is a new style. So we we can just see uh, what what they're gonna play here. <coughs> I really only see one heavy in all of this, and it's that T32 mm -hmm. on uh, Phoenix. Yeah, the only one T32 and the one T69. But on the other, it's uh, they have all right hands. But on the previous season, you see the right hand is much higher by one. So it's a T49. Right now, they have a surgery. <sighs> All right, so spawning to the south, it's going to be Team Front Mission from Thailand, and spawning to the north, it's going to be uh, the remnants of One Blood and Intense Honking, in case this is your first time tuning in. They've actually reassembled yep. to be Team Phoenix. Yep, because of the formation team, they got all light hangs, so they have, they're going to reach the middle on the first moment, and because of uh, the enemy team have a T32, they got a T69, so the speed much, it will be much slower, so on the beginning, I think the formation can shoot a T32 or T69 uh, in, in the first moment, I think. But, oh, they didn't do that. Indeed, all right, so now, bad. there we go. That's a nice split coming from our team from Thailand. I mean, front mission, they've got basically everything they want to have here, I think. Yeah, but you know, you know what? If they choose a light hand, they got speed. And they can shoot on the first moment because of, uh, they got a high speed on the middle. <coughs> but they didn't do anything and live there. All if right. they keep up the advantage there, you know, the T32 is going to show a turret and capture the middle. The man is going to control fire. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. All right. Okay, so w WD40 has actually taken a good chunk of damage off the start, and so too has. Calope there from uh, from front mission. So I mean, right now the start from Phoenix. I mean, getting what picks they have is actually pretty strong thus far in the game. 
It really is. And um, I'd also like to highlight that our minimap right now is blocking one of the tanks on okay. front mission. Yeah, they, they change the strategy right now. They cannot have a sniping strategy. I mean, they cannot put a sniper here. A T-71, a T-71 cannot be a scope here. So they just for sniping only. All right, well, it sounds like a, a solid strategy in my opinion. And thus far, Calliope is actually looking around just a little bit more, but at the same time, in the background, Blade fell from Phoenix, and uh, he was actually in... I it, it only had 890 HP. It only had 800 HP as a max. Mm -hmm. So what on earth was that? <laughs> or maybe 880, I can't really tell. But... Oh. Yeah. It, I think that was one of the Tier 7s. All right. And now Kaliope is actually diving into all of Team Phoenix yeah, and by you to rush in. Wow. I know it's a suicide. We, yeah, it's a suicide scout. That's what we call it. All right. But he's still alive. <laughs> mm -hmm. and that's the craziest part. He's in the RU251. He's just running for his life and now Anger is looking for like oh, he okay, got okay, the okay. shot okay. that sealed him out of the game. Yeah, it's more recent I think. And I think that's just about all he needed. Okay. So <coughs> Team wow, Phoenix they rush. On the other team, they Oh, rush. man. They're going to kill the ROU 251 first. Right. They're exploiting no. the lack of vision here. Much Wow is actually backpedaling a little bit. And WD-40 is missing every shot that he's surrounding, uh, or excuse me, circling oh. Much Wow for. Yeah, the quarter is going to shoot him 10 high. So okay. Now he's Quoto gone. Yeah, so it's a one-for-one -one exchange in that particular instance. TY Killer being focused down. Zeratul actually taking a good chunk as well. And TY Killer is poised to fall, indeed he will. Sponster now next on the hit list. It's coming from front mission. Yep. And Fresh Meat is struggling to stay alive he's here. Down. He gets oh, rammed, he, but he's still yeah, alive. Yeah. Does he hit off spin? Does he hit off spin? There. Oh, he's reloading. Yes, wow. they are. And they're in the, that's in the AMX 1390, I might add. Mm -hmm. And Blood Plus is looking like he's trying to steal someone out of this game. Sponster's just going to chase down off spin yep. as long as he's reloading. And need I remind you that if that turret was shot, if the, well, if the ammo rack... He can run him. Right, oh. if the ammo rack was hit, then that means it's on an 80-second reload. Sponster now trying to get that one hit out. Can he or can he not? He, it looks like somebody did. Indeed, it was him. Okay. Okay, so now we've lost uh, our <laughs> observer camera, if you will. But the last tank is on fire here from front mission. And it looks like Phoenix takes this game. Yep. With three tanks on the field. Yep. Okay. Well, that was quite an interesting display of skill and coordination from Team One Blood, and I think this could potentially be the beginning of a turnaround. Yeah, but uh, we cannot check. Uh, I cannot check the record. I mean, uh, I cannot check the damage board. So I'm, I want to uh, check the M13. M13. Of, I mean, uh, how many damage they max? Because of it's an auto load. Um, <coughs> last scenario, we, I feel. The M13 only shoot one, maybe, I, I mean, uh, uh, six rounds. And after that, he laid running all the time. But uh, on, uh, if they choose the two more, uh, or one more, or two more IU251, maybe they can win this one. But, you know, the DPM is really critical if you want to rush. But you can, we can see that after we rush, and I, I, Every time the M13 missing a lot, most auto motor they are not that accurate. So that's right. If, yeah, if on that moment it's really, you know, uh, sometimes like you cannot kill the uh, the, uh, the enemy on the first moment and run away. You cannot uh, get an advantage on the auto motor, you know. So All if right. they just want to keep and stay there, maybe use the RU251 is better. On that scenario, they, maybe they can win this one because of. The T-32 is still far away from them, from the battlefield. So if you, they use the RU-251, maybe they can win. Mm. Maybe. Well, I'm wondering how game number two is going to pan out. I mean, are, are we going to see the same strategy from front mission? Are we mm -hmm. going to see them play off positioning again? Mm -hmm. Or are we going to see a completely different tank loadout? Mm -hmm. I think we're going to have to find out after this short break. Okay.
All right, guys, we are back now with game number two that's going to be played on offense for Team Front Mission on Prokhorovka. Mm -hmm. And uh, just a reminder, me and Edison are both battling illness right now. We're actually doing war with cough drops and <laughs> Robitussin, if you will. At least that's what I'm using. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is going to be game number two, and mm -hmm. it looks like the tank loadout is roughly the same as it was mm -hmm. in game number one there for yep. Front Mission. And... More or less the same as coming as gonna come from uh, the game with Phoenix. They've got two T. They've got, excuse me. They have one T thirty two. Then the one T thirty nine. Whoa. Okay. So okay. wait a minute. Hmm? They changed it just a little bit. They got a T thirty two, and then they they went with a tier six tank loadout this time. Lace, go ahead. No, I, no, I, I mean uh, from Team Phoenix. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, guys. The the production crew wasn't actually supposed to bring out a, a loading screen graphic, if I'm not mistaken. They're only supposed to do that once. And it looks like we're getting things underway. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so this time around, we got T32, T69, two AMX 1390s, two RU251s. It's going to be from Phoenix, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. But front mission, of course, we've got three AMX 1390s, it looks like. Okay, this time they're going to use... Uh a sniping strategy on the beginning, but you know, because they got so many light tank, I don't know why they no, they don't want to just go to you know frontier and shoot, just run away. You know, they have the time to do that, but they don't want to do that. I don't know why. <coughs> so right. they have a sniping strategy again. You know, sniper here and two scout. <coughs> of course, of course. Mm -hmm. All right, so Rodak is going to go ahead and pioneer that just a little bit. And Sponster as well, Fresh Meat, getting some vision out for his team. And I feel like this is a very dangerous position for uh, Phoenix right now. They're actually just, they're playing picks over the hill, yeah, but they're doing it with auto loaders for the most part. Mm. And as you said earlier, the cannons on auto loaders are not uh, the most accurate, yep. Edison. Yep. Normally M13 is not that good for, for the sniping, you know. And uh, another problem is, uh, if your enemy know your M13 should shoot maybe four, three rounds, they can rush because of after you shoot two, two, three times, you have to reload. Mm. And if you tie on that moment, you only can run all day there. Indeed. <laughs> all right, so now we've got just basically, I, I, I want to say front mission is kind of on the back end here, but they're not the ones that have to defend. If I'm not mistaken, that's actually yeah, that responsibility falls on Team Phoenix this game. So I mean, as long as they play this out correctly, you know, um, <laughs> if they continue to camp this way, then it's it's just not going to end well for Front Mission. Yeah, yeah, but you know, uh, if the Front Mission team know, okay, your T32, your T69 on the east part again, they're gonna rush on the left again. But you know. The key point to win is uh, the Phoenix team have to got a couple tanks. Um, I mean, the cross here. If no one there, they rush. You will it will be useless because uh, they cannot snipe in them on the east side. Oh man, there you go. They're piling in just like you said. And this is looking like a game that may not shape out all that well or pan out all that yeah. well for front mission. But as I say, that Calliope gets. One of Team Phoenix backed into a corner. That was actually Blade, and he is now down and out for the count. And well, he's going to die there, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he might. He more than likely will. But, of course, Phoenix is now diving into their own capture circles defensively. And that M41 Bulldog is now repositioning itself. But that T71 amazingly still alive for the time being. <coughs> yeah, but, yeah. but if, if he keeps there, you know, he cannot be a sniper. I mean, so dangerous. Mm-hmm. <coughs> All right, there we go. He was sealed out and finally taken care of. I believe that was a T32 who got the kill because he was backed up the most at that particular location. Mm -hmm. And now it's just going to be Team Phoenix on the defense for the time being. But of course, as you stated before, the snipes are coming into play. And WD40 getting old, ultra overzealous there is now da down to about one last shot and he's out of the game. Yeah, I say that uh, M13 uh, might be in the reloading right now. I mean, uh, formation team. So after the M13 reloaded, uh, they might rush after that. <coughs> okay, so here we go. I mean, right now Phoenix is, they're defending relatively well given their present situation. 
Yeah, yeah. They yeah. got really nice control on the map, but uh, if the Finnish team, I, I mean the formation team, they control the map, so if after the M13 reload, they cannot find a way to break through. <coughs> I don't know where it is. All yeah. right. So if you if you see the three M13 stick together, that means they gonna rush. Okay. They are, they are on the way, you know, maybe here. <coughs> Looks like that's what, that's what's going to happen at this particular location. Mo mm -hmm. At the moment, it's a two versus two at this location on the mini map. Yeah, but you know, the third one gonna be here. You know? And are you two by one gonna be a sniper here? Oh man! All right, well, here we go. The way this is panning out is not looking too terribly hot for uh, front mission. They've taken a little bit. They this, they've taken a little bit more damage than Phoenix in this game thus far. Yeah, but much wow is now being. Uh, pummeled by an AMX 1390, maybe okay. even a second one. Oh yeah. man, he just he, he overstepped his boundaries by a long mm -hmm. shot there. The question is, will the next shot shut him out of the game? Blood Plus now looking like he might be sealed out relatively soon. Indeed, he will oh, be. Oh, he didn't ram him. No. Yeah, he did ram him, but the the shot missed. And now Fresh Meat in a lot of trouble as well. He's focusing yeah. on chasing down. Help me, please. Ty Killer coming in for the save on his teammate. Looks like it will seal him out mm -hmm. for the time being. Mm -hmm. But uh, Rodak looks like he might get away with uh, taking off spins life out of this game. He's backpedaling away for the time being. Yep. I think the formation gonna win this one because of the M13 is wrong away right now. Because yeah. Because on the reload and wrong is totally right strategy. You know? Oh yeah, shoot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot and lift, reload and come back. After they come back, they gonna win this one. And for the most part, like just look at the mini map right now, guys. I want to highlight that uh, the mini map is blocking the fourth and final tank on front mission. We don't know how much HP that final tank has. Yeah. At the moment. Yeah, but I think one they have one M13 with pretty high hit point right now. Um, I I really feel like this would be the moment for Phoenix to take all of their tanks and start hiding. Yep. Because if the enemy team can't pull off a capture, then they can't win. Yeah, totally right. I think the light tank can, you know, hide somewhere like here. Yeah, Zero Tool yeah. is about one shot away from falling right now. I think they cannot capture, so, you know, the light tank <coughs> along the way, yep. He's close to the river and go to the northeast. I think it's totally right. <laughs> And Batman's in the chat. I'd like to just point that out while this is going on. 30 seconds remaining on the clock. If Team Phoenix even has one tank wow. remaining at the end of this game, then they, they automatically win. And there's not enough time for a capture. Yep. Only now, if all four tanks are in, the, are in that capture circle at 30 seconds, is there a chance to win the game. But that chance has now been forfeited. All right, the well, T32 being poked up from multiple angles oh, now. Oh, he missed it again. Rodak does manage to get this shot that mm -hmm. seals his opponent out of the game. Mm -hmm. And now it's all up to that final tank from Phoenix hiding, actually, also with the aid of Rodak. Rodak drops, but two seconds, one, zero. Okay. There it is. Phoenix gets the win, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, okay, with this so game. Okay, so right now it's three, two, three. Mm -hmm. But the rest two... But you know, it's a Pokenovka, so actually, I feel the defense team is not that great advantage on the defense. So, <coughs> all right, mm -hmm. so three to three, and if we see what's the word I'm looking for, if we see front mission win the next game, then that means we're either going to see them win or we're going to see them take it into an assault mode game, yep. but there's no chance of them losing. Conversely, it's the same condition if we see uh, if we see Phoenix win. Mm -hmm. They can either take it into a draw game, but they will not lose. Uh, mm -hmm. Not not from, of course, these maps in and of themselves. Again, the 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 assault mode map has already been predetermined for today, and if I'm not mistaken, it's Siegfried Line, I think. Siegfried Line, maybe Sand River. Uh, I'm not sure, but it should be a Siegfried. All right. Yeah. So we'll be back in just a just a couple of minutes with the next game mm -hmm. on Prokhorovka. This time with Phoenix on the offense and front mission on the defense.
Alright guys, we are back now with a very critical and pivotal game pivotal pivotal game in uh the the second map, which is gonna be Perk Rocka. And mm -hmm. in this condition, if we see either of the team win, or excuse me, either of the teams win, we're either going to see a draw game for that team or them going in uh excuse me, a tiebreaker game for that team, or we're going to see them move on or excuse me, uh just take the set and get three points. Yeah, yeah. But right now, you know, the mm -hmm. formation of defender. That's right. Yeah. So sometimes defenders still have more advantage like left one, you know, because of uh, the the light hang on the fence run away. So that's why they win. You know, mm, if they yeah. if, if they didn't run, they cannot maybe I think they cannot lose that one. But sti defenders still have a little bit uh, advantage about this one. And, and you know what they say, a great offense is always a good defense. Or <laughs> a great a great defense is always a good offense, I don't know. Yeah, but it's an open wide map, you know, and we got a light hang, a lot of light hang. So normally, if you kind of win this one, you have to kill all light hang first. But if, if not, they can run, 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 you know, you can oh, catch yeah. a lane. Okay, we I remind something, you know, do you see the Panda eye here? Yeah. Yeah, it's a commander. Of the formation of the RTAE is a pre. Uh, I think it's, a, it's an old Catalan and really strong before, but right now they are not that strong anymore. But you know, Panda Panda is pretty famous on the Thailand. So I, I just wonder why he didn't didn't do the didn't be a commander on the tournament team anymore. You know. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, that's something. That's a question to ponder. But uh, mm -hmm. for the time being, it looks like we're gonna have Phoenix taking a T69, RU251, T37, T69, Amex1590, Amex1390, and an RU251 as mm -hmm. their total. Uh, what's what I'm looking for? Their tier seven tier eights is what they're going for. Yep. Well, we have uh, front mission going for two one two two Amex 1390s, two Pershings. Wait. Maybe they're swapping one AMX, but now they're keeping it. Yeah, but you know, I, I feel the formation team, they, they can use the M13 that well, you know. Mm -hmm. If if here is a Elon or a Shaw Tiger, you cannot see all oh, are you too far, but they won't choose the M13 because of it's not stable. Sometimes right. it, you, you can see that it, uh, every time we see it, so it, uh, we had a screen on the M13. Maybe he shoots six rounds only can penetrate two to three, so almost, you know, after that he have to reload and run again. So sometimes the top tier tournament team, they don't want to use M13. But maybe one or two, they won't use it much. Right. Mm. I mean, like, front mission, they're showing us that even on the offense, they're going to use the M4, M41 Bulldog as well as the T71, which is interesting to note. You guys will see that at the beginning of uh, this game. Mm -hmm. And right now we're just waiting for uh, both sides to give out the ready, ready, go, go. And then we'll see how things pan out mm -hmm. in this, this game on Prokhorovka. <coughs> but um, what do you think is going to win this one, Edison? Hmm? Uh, actually, I feel uh, the Finnish team, uh, they do not do an uh, assault, I mean attack, that good compared to formation. Formation, they are better on the attack, I guess. So on, on this map, uh, if formation on the defense side and the, the finish is, is forced to attack, I don't think they can do that well as the defense, you know. Even on the defense side, they almost lose that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like, honestly, I mean, it could probably go either way. What we're talking about now, I mean, like, yes, this is a very new tournament system that we're playing under, but it's no longer, I guess you could say, that classic kill all of the enemy's tanks yeah. kind of tournament yeah, of format. Conversely, in this very set, in this very uh, best of, I guess you'd say, this this first to five points, we haven't seen either side get a win through a capture just yet. So it seems like yeah. Yeah, they're kind of a, they're kind yeah. of dodging the subject of the objective itself. Yeah, because of the capture circle is so near to the best, you know. Right. So if you capture on the open field, it's not possible on the capture point one, you know, every enemy there, so it's suicide. But in the second, if you capture, that means uh, the defense team still have really nice angle to attack you. I mean, uh, to reset your capture. So uh, it's not a, uh, it's not into any top team's consideration. I mean, uh, uh, a capture is not a choice on the Pokemon. Other map might be, but the uh, is. Uh, somewhat 
suicide, I, I think. I'm gonna capture. Yeah, and uh, right now I'm waiting for the game or riot in chat. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, like, no one's throwing out game or riot in chat, and that's the that's the strangest part about this because now we've been ta we've been talking so long, and I'm wondering what on earth is taking the team so long. I think we're actually putting a good deal of stress on them. Maybe they're discussing strategies. Maybe one of their players has just gone to the bathroom, and they're waiting for a confirmation or something of that nature. But um. It sounds like we just got the prompt from the production crew that says we're just about ready to go. Okay. Or something like that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I heard that. Sure has been taking a while. And for those of you just now tuning in, this is actually a new meta, 754. That's either seven tier eight tanks and a single tier six tank, or five tier eight tanks and two tier six tanks. Mm -hmm. Or I'm sorry, two tier seven tanks. What is this wrong with you? Yeah, um, but that, that, that's the present scenario we have. Um, for this season of WGL, and I think it's personally a lot more exciting. We do, of course, see a lot more action, but uh, at least that's when our, our screen is working in front of us. Mm -hmm. But today is only day one, guys. Day after tomorrow, we should not have any more technical issues, or at least mm -hmm. um, any massive overbounding technical issues. So, I'm wondering just when this game is going to get started. I can see the break screen actually going straight back to... Uh, Mm -hmm. Well, now about 50 seconds, and then it's working its way down to zero zero. So that means we're going almost a full seven minutes, more than a full seven minutes without a game. Already? Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like right now our production crew is kind of working against what WGL, uh, this this third season of G WGL actually actually was designed for: more action-packed games, um, less waiting, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. What on earth is taking these guys so long? Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but everyone is ready. Can't see any... Yeah. Okay, Wait, okay, there we go. We're hopping into the game right now. Thank you all for your patience, guys. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so... Oh, boy. I'm wondering how this is going to pan out now that Front Mission is on the offense. We saw that when they were on offense in Himmelsdorf, it just didn't pan out too well for them. And uh, the first game they lost, although it was by an inch, by an inch. And uh, I'm thinking, <clears throat> with how well we saw it. <clears throat> with how well we saw Phoenix defending in game number one on this map, I think maybe it'll be a little bit easier for them on offense here in uh, game number three. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse uh, me. <coughs> formation go to the east side. All right. Mm. And, and then they leave the T31 here. That means the T31 have to run away very, very soon or they're going to die there. Yeah. They're going to die there. Calliope is in a lot of trouble right now. He's, okay, he's back. No, no, he's no. backpedaling now, but it looks yeah. like the entire team might be diving in on him relatively yeah, soon. Yeah, it's okay for him because the T31, T71 is really, really fast. Oh boy. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's a, T there's a T37 going around either for a flank or that's going to be for a capture. It's hard to say exactly just what is going on here, but the capture, capture is going to be initiated at the very least, and it's already at 1%. No one's going to defend it just yet, but I think that's just about to change. Yeah, but I think the M13 on the this side, they should go here, you know. It's much better for sniping because if you will stay on the tongue. They got a lot of building there, so you can ask for your, your friend, but if you are here, you really use. Yes, there we go. Phoenix is piling in, but it's looking like it's not quite panning out to be too terribly hot. FMTY Killer taking down to half HP, but no tanks have fallen for either side just yet. And now it looks as though we've got front mission retaliating, and with that, we see uh, Phoenix losing their first tank. Yeah, but and the Griffith everything is low, is... so the pressure is changing to right now. This is going to hell in a handbasket uh -huh. real fast for Team Phoenix. Yeah. Don't get confused, guys. The logos have been switched by accident, by mistake. But now we already see Team Phoenix losing half of their tanks. And Much Wow is mm -hmm. now facing down two barrels of defeat. He just got knocked out of the game. It's all up to the single Rodak, to, as well as his accompanying Fresh Meat, to try and take down five tanks, one of which is one shot and the other one is half HP. So they've got an uphill battle to go with those two tanks. But now it was Blade who was just knocked out of the game. Yep. All right. Rodak and Fresh Meat going at this. It's going to be a two versus five. 
Can't really fight that head on. Yeah, but this match is so fast. <coughs> I almost didn't say anything, you know. I only see the T uh, T69 missing a lot of the Yeah, there he goes, unfortunately. That's Rodak out of the game, and uh, now Fresh Meat just says, Come and get me, you sons of guns, and that's indeed what they do. Do you see anything happen? <laughs> I saw, well, I mean, unfortunately, our, our screen, our casting screen right in front of us went blank a couple of times. So I, there was a good chunk, there was a couple of good chunks of action we missed out on. Yeah, the yeah. critical parts we saw when, when you know, Front Mission was diving in on mm. Team Phoenix. Mm -hmm. um, Team Phoenix tried over pushing the tracks at the middle of the map and it just didn't work out. So they got pushed back on. They didn't have yeah, enough yeah. takes I in that position. The, I only saw the, the Phoenix team play go to the south and the Front Mission team say, okay, you got two tanks on south, so they rush in. And after that, I didn't see anything. And after that, uh, maybe after that 10 seconds, I saw the T69 missing a dog run. He tried to shoot something and missing, and it turned his back to the person and it cannot penetrate the person. After that, he just run away, and everybody chasing him. That's it. So maybe I think uh, it's the, the main point for the formation is they got a Got, they got a chance. They sold, okay, you got two tanks, want to flank us and go to the south. So we use the seven tank. You have one tank. They have one tank on the capture point. And capture circle, and two tanks, and 13 flanking to south. That means you only have four tanks on the middle. Yeah. That's why they rush in. They got seven tanks, so kill the four first, and the rest deal with, with the, rest, the rest three. Right. That, that's why they win so. You know. Get that big dinner turkey straight in the center, and then go for some... I guess you could say some pumpkin pie for dessert straight after that. Yeah. It, it worked out relatively well. They had five tanks left at the end of the game. Yeah, Two I think very the, low HP. Yeah, the, the reaction of the formation is really nice. You know. They spawned it, okay, you guys believe to two pie, I'm going to kill you first. And that's it. <laughs> that was pretty good. All right, guys, so we're going to take things into a short break. It'll be about two minutes long, and then we're going to come back with the final game on this set. And just as a reminder, Front Mission either gets a draw or they win the set with this mm -hmm. game. Okay. And we're back. <laughs> okay, okay. Took that from a song. I gotta admit that. And it's a very, very old song that came out when I was 12. God, that was 13 years ago. 13? Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. 10 years. It was an Eminem song. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this time around. Yeah, we got Sunset up, I guess. Yeah, no changes. Uh, mm. wait. Yeah, M41 Bulldog, T71, yeah. Pershing, T69, Pershing. Two Pershings, two AMX 1390s, M4, one Bulldog, and a T71 coming from Fresh Meat. Uh, fresh Meat. Wow, Front Mission. 
<laughs> yeah, fresh meets a player. What on earth is wrong with me? Two MX 1390s, two Pershings coming out from the other side as well. We're going to see in just a second. Hang, hang on. Can't Wait for the observers to get it. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Mm -hmm. It should show us. There we go. Uh, what, 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 what. Okay, two <laughs> T69s, two MX 1390s, two RU 251s, and a T37. It's going to be for Phoenix. Two Pershings, T69, two MX 1390s. Uh, an M41 Bulldog and a T71. It's going to be out of front mission. Yep. Now, I love to use two T7. You know, even you know, chemistop. They have two eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, let's see how this works. Blood plus off spin going immediately out to the west. I'm sorry, the east end of mm -hmm. the map. It looks like. Okay. Some, I guess you'd say mini bugs at the observer right now, and Calliope is going to dive into the center village, I guess you could say. Um, right now, it looks like it's a very strong light setup coming from, light and medium setup coming from yep, uh, yep. Front Mission. Uh, or rather, Phoenix. Yeah, on the Phoenix part, I think originally they go to the here, and the last ones they want to use RU251, if they, they have a chance to shoot a person go through here, you know. But, uh, you know, the, from each team, they don't want to use such a strategy. They want to use, go to east part and use two person on the middle. Uh-oh. Show up the torrent, use a light That hand. T-71's been spotted. Yep. They oh want to man. use a, <coughs> I mean, uh, from mission, they want to use the person to guard the middle. <coughs> use one light hand here. <coughs> and others, you know, uh, other light hand, they can go to other, and other, any other way. They can go to south or north because of their light hand. So the space is fast. They don't want to. They don't want. They they have the mobility, so they can support north, e either north or middle. Um, uh, maybe within like ten to fifteen seconds. So it's it's quite defensive strategy for the formation. Right. Phoenix initiates the capture of a blade. Already takes two shots. He's already down to about uh, 70, 60 percent of his initial HP. Seventy percent, it looks like. And oh, do you see the capture? The content? Oh yeah, it's begun. Blades in the circle. That's why. Yeah, it's only one, right? Or two? I believe so. I think he's bait. Look at the setup coming from uh, Team Phoenix right now. I mean, we can see it clearly. The RU two five ones to the south, the Amex thirteen nineties to the north, because they're just a little bit closer. Their cannons are less accurate, which means um, as long as they coordinate fire perfectly, they should be able to get a kill on this. Yeah, yeah. All right. You know, well, it's really hard to reset right now. You know. I don't think the Phoenix team, uh, I, I, think not, I don't think the formation team have the ability to reset right now, except position. Right. They, they give up <coughs> right now, I mean, we've got that front mission tank, Zeratul, trying to make whatever shots he can hit on Blade, but it's at 50% yeah. yeah. of the capture right now. Yeah, and uh, do you see the countdown? It's oh, one yeah. second, one point. It's different to. You know the the, the QIC uh, for yeah, sure. Yeah, on the earliest, uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not QIC probably to it. After this update, I think on the assault team. Oh it, man, it's a reset. Yeah, it's been reset. And Blades yeah, now reset. one shot. If he takes another hit, he's out of the game. Uh, uh, another penetrating hit, if you will. You just there he goes. Shoot him. <laughs> he just got knocked out. I think that. Yeah, I think I might have been ca Calliope there, perhaps, maybe. Yeah, but he's 71. All right. Well, Engrid turning that corner. I guess you could say turning that hill. Yeah, trying to get some hits onto whatever he can, that would be Team Phoenix. Excuse me, uh, front mission if possible. Yeah, but the uh, front mission team right now is quite split, so it's really dangerous right now. Isn't it? And right now there are light bulbs next to each player's name, and I think mm -hmm. that means whether or not they've been spotted. Alright, Zeratul looks like he's going to be locked out here, he definitely, he just okay, got... Okay, first. Yeah, he was zeroed in on, and I think that that could potentially be the, the beginning of a capture. Yeah, but you know, even he killed a person first, they have to pay for that, because of, they got sniped on the middle. Oh man, yeah. So if you shoot a, you kill a person, another person you cannot keep shooting, because of DPM of person is not bad. Yeah, and Phoenix's location wow. here, I mean, it's not looking too good. They're about to get piled in on. Mm -hmm. It's Sponster looking like he's going to get knocked out by Calliope and Blood Plus. Yeah, you're going to see the board of his 10 run. Oh, man, much well. I'm not trying to chase down Calliope, but he is getting... He's just getting... He's taking a shower and tank shots right now. And 
It's all up to Griven now. Um, just a reminder, he's not on defense. He's going to have to go on the offense. He's on Team Phoenix. The graphics at the top of your screen are a little bit mixed up right now. But uh, hmm. hopefully we'll have it fixed I really game. wonder, you know, <coughs> because the Phoenix team, they got a really nice chance to kill Pershing. But, you know, uh, after that, uh, I think the formation team have a really nice, uh, nice reaction. Because they say, okay, you got three light hands to rush my Pershing. They're gonna rush you, arrest him. So I, I feel if you want to rush the Pershing on the last moment, they have to relocate their light hands. That's it. Well, Front Mission takes this set with an end score of 5 to 3. Mm -hmm. So that basically says the first of five points wins this entire matchup, and that's mm -hmm. gonna give them three points. There's something mm -hmm. else we've got to highlight earlier. Okay. If if we actually see um, if we actually see the the final game go to a tiebreaker, then what happens is uh, the team that wins the tiebreaker gets two points, not mm -hmm. three. Yep. So this way, I guess you could say you're not really you're not really punishing the other team for I guess you could say maybe getting lucky in some ways. Mm -hmm. I mean things like that. The likelihood of a tiebreaker game has actually been decreased by this new tournament format, but at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, they're trying to make it a little bit more balanced in the essence that you're not you're not giving the enemy team a free three points, and conversely, you're not getting a free three points yourself. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. That means you know it cut it quite uh, quite even match. That means you no, know, you are not totally lost to them, so they won't give you like three points. They can oh, yeah. only give two. That's it. Right. <coughs> and I mean, I guess you could say that that how do I say this? That, it also shows the the lack of a skill cap mm -hmm. between two teams. Like, say, Charlotte Tiger versus Elong. Do you mm -hmm. really think that, you know, Charlotte Tiger or Elong should have a full three points mm -hmm. just for winning a tiebreaker game mm -hmm. if they have the same score? Yeah, and then, you know, on the, little... yeah, on, on the other, other leagues, I mean, other game or other leagues, sometimes they, if you win one match, you, 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 uh, you got one point, you know, one match, one point, not the whole match up you got one point like that you know oh yeah okay right. gotta... so <laughs> we will be back in about five minutes with our next set which is actually going to be between team efficiency uh, and pvp yep yeah. classic epic mm -hmm. deathmatch yeah. we'll be back in just a few minutes guys <laughs> 